guys, it's me, Sarah, from the SAM Show. Welcome to episode three of three of Sarah's Style. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make these awesome bracelets that look great with any outfit. So, let's get started. For this awesome bracelet, you're going to be needing about four or five different things. First one is a ruler, and then you're also going to be needing some handy-dandy tape, or you could use a clipboard, and some scissors are going to really help unless you want to rip the thread, which, you know, that's, that's totally cool, too. Um, then you're going to want to pick two different colors of embroidery, floss, or thread, or whatever you decide to use. And that's all the supplies you'll be needing for this video. Thanks! Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to be needing to do to make this bracelet is cut three strands of each color 17 inches long. So I ended up with three cream colored strings each 17 inches long. And now what I'm going to be doing is taking my pink and cutting three strands each 17 inches long and then pairing them together. So while I do that, let me just say, leave a comment down below if you know any ways to make different friendship bracelets and let me know your favorite kind to make. So right now I'm currently cutting, I believe, my second or third string. And once again, three strings each 17 inches long. And after you're, going, after you're done doing that, you are going to just want to separate them into two different mini little pile thingy majiggers. <laughs> so one pile thingy majigger and two. So yeah, me trying to do that. Yeah, okay, bye. Okay, so the second step in this bracelet process is really, really simple. Um, what you're going to do is you wanna clear everything out of the way and then take your two groups of string, hold them together like so, and then twist them around to just make a simple knot about three inches, not a knot that's three inches, but you know, uh, make sure the string is about three inches before the knot. I'm just gonna measure that right here. Do, 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 do. Just totally make sure because you wanna make, be able to tie it. And now the ends are not e even, so we're going to just chop those off with some scissors. S scissors. <laughs> scissors and just be good to go so yeah let's move on to step three all right guys so the first step that you're going to be taking is taping the beginning or the front of the bracelet down to the table and sometimes you use two or more pieces of tape so that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to separate the pink and cream from each other and start making my shape. Um, let's see. <laughs> separate the pink and cream and then make a four and pull the pink under like I show you here. So here I'm making a four and pulling the pink under. And I always hold the opposite one that I'm not pulling under steady. You must do that. You must always hold it steady. So here, now I'm holding the cream steady while I pull the pink up. Next, I'm going to make a backwards four using the cream and pull the cream through. Notice I'm holding the pink very steady as I pull the cream up. And you're just going to continue doing that over and over again until you get it to the length that you like. So I will see you guys as soon as I'm done. Um, yeah. Do 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 and make sure to hold the opposite one steady, steady, steady. Backwards four, pull cream forward, holding pink steady. Four, holding cream, pulling pink. Just make sure you keep doing that. I'm just going to show you guys for a little while longer before I cut it out. Just 
just continue doing this until your bracelet is the length that you like it. Okay guys, so um, what you're going to want to do is at the end, this is optional technically, but you could either leave it like this unknotted, it shouldn't come unknotted, but I personally just like to do another knot at the bottom just to, you know, give it a little extra security and make sure it's even on both sides with a big knot on both sides. So I'm just going to add my little knot there and then um, I'm just going to lift up my tape. And there we have the final product. I'll include some pictures before my bloopers if I have any for this video. So be sure to look for the pictures of the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a grand thumbs up and make sure to comment below if you know how to make any friendship bracelets and if I should do more tutorials make sure also to comment down below what tutorials I should do and please subscribe <laughs> subscribe thank you very much for watching this video and please stay tuned for pictures and bloopers